Hello everyone! Welcome to Hello. Thursday Crafting. Oh, it didn't get my head. <laughs> it did, it almost did. I got her hand. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Kayla. I'm Nancy. And we are Stamping Before Anything Else, aka Stamping Bay. And this is Charlie. This is Kayla's my baby. My baby Charlie. Oh, he's so grumpy. He wants to go play. He wants to go play. He was yep. making a lot of racket. <laughs> Uh, he was getting into the bay, a uh, bag over stamping there. Stamping up bag, and then he went to a grocery bag. And... Yes. Uh, if you're here with us live, please let us know. Leave a comment. If you're watching the replay, if you're a replay, I don't know, a replay, a replay <laughs> fam, <laughs> comment replay in the comments. I want to see where, who's rewatching this. Uh, it looks like we have Arlene and Jill and Bernay. Oh my goodness. Bonnie. Hello, everyone. Oh, Happy she, Thursday. Did I say Jean? Hi, Jean. Arlene. I know I said Arlene. Arlene. Jennifer is watching. Hi, Jennifer. We have your cards. We're almost, we're almost, we're going to talk about the card swap. Um, we have the card swap laid out behind us right now. Right so we're a little bit slow. This time we're out of the. Which is a good thing. Of getting the card swaps mm -hmm. because we do them on the even months and it's been since. October. Oh my yeah. gosh, has it's it been, been that? It's been since October since we did a lo our last card swap. So we're a wow. little bit trying to get back in the swing of things. So we're going to be doing that after our live. We got them all laid out on the table behind us. We have 13 card swaps. So yes, we'll be we doing it. We even have to do it monthly now. Yeah, mm. we, I don't know. But we <laughs> are going to be doing uh, another live showing you all the cards that were in the card swap. So we're not going to show you that tonight because we got this really fun fun fold that mom uh designed but Kate, uh, it was inspired by um rose carey rose carey i had to think for a minute it, you, you put me on the spot i'm like wait a minute <laughs> so this is the card it might look backwards to you right now but we'll flip it so it's a fun fold card we're yeah, gonna watch this open it's a it. belly band take the belly band off and then we're gonna open it. I'm trying to do this backwards, but it opens like that. Is that not awesome? Isn't that cool? And it fits in a normal <coughs> size envelope. It does. So the belly band goes on it, slides back on. We're gonna show you how to do that mm -hmm. today. So it's gonna take a little bit. That's why we're not gonna show you the card swaps. Yeah. But make sure to hit the notification symbol on YouTube and make sure you're subscribing or following us on Facebook and YouTube so that way you get a notification when we're live next showing you all the card swaps. So, yes. Uh, Mom wants to talk about some things before we get into yes. showing you how to make this. So I'm going to move it down to the table. Awesome. Okay, so super fun. Now, you guys have probably have seen this wonderful bundle that has been floating around out there um it's the ways of the ocean uh suite and we're super excited because you as a customer are able to purchase this uh starting march 1st and can you believe it tuesday is march 1st oh, i weird. can't get over it i don't it like just, that I feel like it's the beginning of COVID for some reason, but that was 2020 and it's 2022. What the heck? What, what happened to the last two years? So anyway, um, we are, um, I haven't purchased this honestly, but I saw a card done by Rachel and I'm really, oh, this, this paper is really pretty and it's pretty on paper that I can't imagine what it looks like in person. It, it's probably a hundred times better in person. Um, but starting on Tuesday, customers are able to order this, and you guys are going to love it, honestly. Kayla and I have been trying to watch our P's and Q's when it comes to buying everything, because we have a nasty habit of buying everything that comes out, and then we never use it. <laughs> and then we never use it. And <laughs> so, then Mom was literally just looking at uh, one of the stamps, and oh. she thought we didn't use it, but it's the many, many messages, and it's all in one big yeah. stamp, and so she's I'm like, like oh. oh, just kidding, it's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like that. <laughs> anyway, so this is one thing that's coming out. Now, if you do sign up to be a demonstrator by, before the end of the month, which is Monday, um, you can add this uh, bundle to your kit. Yeah. So, that is one thing that's coming up, and guess what? There's another fun thing coming up that is starting on Tuesday. Um, savings are in bloom. There you go. This is 20% uh, off the mini 
uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine. Wait, 20% off? 20% off. So instead of paying 60 you get it for $48. That's it's a really, really good. It's really cute. It's cute and it's really a good deal. Um, also, right here are some other uh, uh, bundles that are going to be on sale for 20% off. Um, but the fun thing about this is that these are 20% off and if you were to become a demonstrator, you get your, I believe you get your discount on top of the discounted price. So you get that additional discount on top of that $48. Really? Off. So yes, you do. Wow. Yeah, you do. It's it's really a good, teal, a, a good deal. Teal. <laughs> teal. <laughs> anyway. And so, then also, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Are, are, were, you, were you done? You no, know, I was just going to mention the celebration is almost over. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a few Dang it, why did I put that in the description of this video? Okay, so we have... What did you do? Uh, card swap, or not card swap. Well, we have a card swap. That's yeah, behind we us. do. But that's a different topic. We have a card <laughs> class that is going to be closing on Sunday, the 27th. And it's featuring... You want to switch spots? <laughs> Sorry. It's featuring... Charlie's getting crazy over there. I know, and I just there. see a table going like this. <laughs> He's playing with the uh, grocery bag. Grocery bag. But uh, we are doing a class featuring the Amazing Silhouettes bundle, which includes the stamp sets and the Amazing Thanks dies. We have a little bit of a delay on me pointing and the camera catching up. Oh that my is goodness. really weird. That is bizarre. That is really weird. Okay, anyway, but this is the bundle that you'll get if you participate in the class, and you'll also get a pack of the brushed brass butterflies, and you will get supplies to make five cards or ten cards. Two of five designs. There we go. <laughs> you Matt, got it. Yay. Two of five designs. So we have all of these cards that you'll be making. Um, they're really beautiful, really fun, bright colors, what mom loves. Um, yeah, so you get all the supplies to make the cards or the the cards itself. Fun any surprise ink, in that one. Any ink will be up to you. And then you'll obviously get the stamp set and that. What's nice about this, too, is you'll also qualify for a free celebration item of your choice. So you mark that when you register for the class. I'll put that in the comments here while Mom gets us started on the next project. But we wanted to let you know, make sure if you want to do this, registration is going to close on Sunday. So you got to get it in. Yeah, now. because last day of the month for celebration is on Monday to take advantage of that $50 um, increment. Um, so each $50, you get to pick an item. Kayla will have that in the drop down. But today, we're going to be working on that fun fold. Hold on. Jill said, wow, Kayla, we can see your ears. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Leave me alone. My ears aren't cold today, okay? I know, put right? That on. Yeah, why don't you have that little... I don't know. I was cold before. Yeah, no, it's I'm really not. warm in here. Or is it just me? It's just you. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> So, um, making this card tonight, um, love it. And look at this bow, isn't that adorable? I love it. Um, this was a case from, it's copy and share everything, or there's another way of saying it. Anyway, um, Rose Carey had sent this card to Rachel. Our She's upline. watching. Hi, Rose. <laughs> um, she had sent this card to Rachel, and every Wednesday, Rachel does a team video, and we get to watch to see what kind of fun things she's doing, and and what are you pointing at? She's right at? there. Oh. Rose. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and so... Um, Rachel showed this card and I fell in love with it and I'm like oh my gosh I gotta make it so I messaged her I said hey Rose do you mind if I case it so I did my best to try and case it but she has some really cool dies that she used on it um, on the front of hers she used a la the ladybug punch and it turned out so beautiful um, but I held back from getting the lady punch or the ladybug punch but anyway um, I pretty much tried to copy as much as I possibly could on this, but it opens up like this. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Now this is her design on the inside that I, I copied. Um, I was a little off. Um, I'm not quite sure what sentiment she used on that one or this one. Um, she had some stitched hearts, I believe, um, from what I could tell, from what I could see in the, in the picture. But oh, these colors are so pretty. I just love them. And what's really cool about these swirly things, and I think they're the ones that Rose used, but I'm not quite sure. Um, they're actually from the Star 
uh, the stitch stars. Hold on one moment. So I normally do not do this. I try to stick to one bundle when I'm making things, but I had a lot of fun doing this because, because it's celebration, I wanted to kind of concentrate on um, the designer series paper. So um, with a $100 order, you can get the stamp set that we're using tonight right here. Mm -hmm and the designer series paper that we're using. It comes together. It does. So if you purchase anything that is $100 um, or a minimum of $100, you can pick this bundle right here with the designer series paper and the stamp set for free. It's free, guys, I'm just saying. Um, also, with, I, I tend to get really low. You okay, go baby. really low. <laughs> I do, I'm like, I gotta have it close to me. Um, also, those little swirly things, it is the stitched stars. And I found the swirly thing that we're gonna be using. Um, let me see here, let me show you the inside of the one that I came up with. Gosh, can you guys hear that? That's the cat Charlie. playing in the bay. Gosh. Um, I didn't put it on here, but I plan on doing so. Um, I'm gonna get this card out so you can. <laughs> <laughs> you even let go. Oh Lord. <laughs> Cats and plastic bags, I'm just saying. So right here, I, we cut out two of them. Here's one, here's two. And it is this swirly little swirl right here. How awesome is that? Now you can find these in the annual catalog. So I did use that, so that's one thing. We used, um, ah. we're, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sound like a crow. <laughs> I did. Um, we're using this stamp right here with the bird tonight. Um, let me see, what else? Oh. We're also gonna be using this fun fan thing. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. Do you know what it's I called? I don't know. I have no idea, but we're gonna be using this from the Good Fortune. Hi, Darcy. And, oh goodness, here we go. We're gonna be using our layering circle and dies tonight. So we're gonna use the scalloped and one of the regular circles. And um, we're gonna be using the special moments. Now, another thing that you can get for a $100 purchase um, instead of getting this bundle right here, that might not be your cup of tea, that's perfectly fine. If you get $100, um, pick out $100, you could get this stamp set right here, which is really kind of cool because it's got a little bit of sentiments for any occasion. We're going to be using this, and let me see here if I can figure out which one we're using. Right here. We're going to use this one stamp set, but I'm going to um, use the masking method. I'm going to use, well, you can use it... Um, masking tape or we're going to use the post-it notes tonight so we're using this stamp right here and then i thought it was kind of cool because i haven't used this one for a while and you're probably looking at this going what is that mess it is let's see here what did i do with it <laughs> kayla what did i do with it oh here's this say it's under there okay yes here it is still so, she covered it up. I'm sorry. I was trying to make a poll so yes. that like, you guys could vote on something. Okay. So what I did is I took the many, or well, many messages, but I took the messages die. This is one complete die right here. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to use that because I haven't used it for a while. Now, you could use the sentiments. There's, we have two sets that match the die set. It's many messages right here. And it comes as one complete die. We got many happenings right here. That is one complete die. And you layer this over it. You stamp this up on ink, or with ink, and then use this to layer over it, and it cuts it out. So you got all these many messages, hence the reason many messages. Wow. Yeah. So clever. I know, right? <laughs> so what I did instead is I just took this and took it and die cut a whole bunch of pieces in the basic white. Basic you, white? Basic white. You can find this on page 42 and then in the back I believe it's on page 164. 162, 164 and it's right here if you're interested in that. But, I cut a whole bunch of these up ahead of time. Wow, that was loud. And look at this. You got ready-made pieces that you can stamp your images on. And what's really kind of cool, and I was gonna, I got a Charlie here, right here. <laughs> um, what's Ow. really, oh, I'm so sorry. 
See this one right here? It says, hey boo, hey boo, hey boo. It's super duper tiny right here. That even on this tiny, tiny, oh, it's on the inside. You see this little tiny little oval one right here? That's, it's inside that envelope, it's inside so she can't the, grab yeah. it. This will fit perfectly on there. I'm oh just saying. Oh my gosh. Is that not cute? That is adorable. It fits perfectly on there. It's so, so tiny. Um, I had a lot of fun mixing things up tonight. So, anywho. Um, I did use a couple of those dies. Look, there's a star even I asked, do you like making fun fold cards? A lot of people said yes. <gasps> Actually, nobody said I like to keep it simple, but I right, love right. to watch them. Nobody... Oh, just kidding. One person did that? Nope. Still... Nope. One, nope. one person did do it. <laughs> one person did do it. Thank you, Sherry Bear, for subscribing to us Thank on you. YouTube, I believe. It was a weird little... Little. fancy monster thing that <gasps> came up. But Did you have something fun that came up? Yeah, it was a different thing. I didn't. I don't know how to control oh, that. That's sweet. That's really weird. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you guys, um, I have allergies kicking in today, so my nose is really red, and I have to blow my nose, otherwise I'm going to be sniffing in your ear. Yeah, and that's not fun. Nobody wants that. Yeah. So No, you don't want to hear that. If you're just that's... joining us, we're going to be making this fun fold card. Oh my goodness, as I bump into the table. Way to go, Kayla. And it has a belly band on it, and then you open it up like this. So mom's going to show us oh, how to and, do this. And it stands up. Ooh. Because then, then you can have it displayed on your table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay. Go for it. Okay. All right. So we're going to have measurements up tomorrow. I'm not going to say a time because Kayla gets mad at me when I say a time. I do. Don't. <laughs> don't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got a lot going on. The so it's trying to balance. It's hard to promise when it, there's so many things that it go on. It is. It is. Okay. So I guess the first thing that I want to do is I'm actually going to start stamping our bird image right here. That's part of that friendly hello. And we're just going to be using our memento black because I am going to be coloring a little bit with our blends. Um, I love our blends and it works really good with our um, tuxedo memento black. And sorry for wiggling the table you guys just want to make sure I get this inked up really good never um, can tell we got about I don't know four or five different we have a memento lot inks of memento black inks and I never know which one I grab remember we figured it out you just add four of them together you stamp on four different ones oh, yeah then you one get the two solid... three four yeah and then you get all the oh, solid that's a good black. idea we did this we tested we... this out oh my goodness <laughs> I tell you all right so right here I'm using a D block um, I love Stampin' Up's blocks. They're nice and thick, and they have this ridge that you can hang on to. Works perfect. All right, so we got that stamped. Since we got our ink out, I'm going to take my two little sentiments. Now, these are part of that many message, or the messages die. And um, I took the one with the little banner and then the little, I don't know, little scalloped edges on the side here. And we're going to do... Um, stamping with our black memento again. I wanted to keep it black. Oops, I'm having issues with my hands today, you guys. All right, so this sentiment here, it says, where would I be without a friend like you? So I'm, I'm gonna take my post-it note and I'm gonna cover up the friend like you with our post-it note. I'm just gonna lay it right on top of there, okay? And we're gonna stamp in our Memento Black ink, keeping this on here. And everybody's like, what? What are you doing? This is weird. It's really cool. I love doing this. I've never done it with a post-it note, not okay. gonna lie. So, we got our ink on there. Now, the spot underneath doesn't have any ink. So I am gonna stamp on this fun one here. Oh my goodness, we're glitching. Oh dear. Why am I not surprised? I don't know. Okay, doing this off to the side, you guys. Hopefully I get it straight. All right, so now I'm just going to press that down. Okay. Pop that off. And, oh yeah, that looks terrible, but I'll go in and do that again later. Um, it's hard to do it when you're not standing right above it, but where would I be without a... And so then you're hoping that the next person or the person that you're giving this to will open up the card 
and we'll see what the inside so we're gonna throw this one away make sure not to get any ink on yes. your fingers so now we're gonna take the bottom part we want it we want that bottom part we're gonna cover up the top part because we don't need that right now lay it right on top of that stamp and then again we're gonna come in here tap a few times take that off and I might have to bring this down closer to me, guys, so forgive me. Both Terry and Karen said that they love this set, but hard, uh, Karen says she hardly uses it. I know. I know. I hear ya. All right. Friend like you. So where would I be without a friend like you? All right. So to be honest with you, that's all the stamping we're doing on this, guys. That's it? That is it. We have that and our fun little bird. Now, um, what I'm going to have Kayla do... <laughs> Jenny goes, I'm not good at fun fold cards. You guys will have to help me. <laughs> <laughs> we can help you. But you like watching them, <laughs> watching people make them, right, Jenny? Okay, so now this is where our scallop... Uh, well, not scallop, but our layering dies, uh, layering circle dies come in. And I'm just going to use the regular circle, whatever one you want. And then I'm going to put a post-it note over the top of oh, the wrong side post-it note to hold it down because I want to make sure that I get part of the image and all that's going to do is it's going to hold this circle die in place while it's being die cut okay so Miss Kayla okay I, I just have to run it through that is it that is it that is it are you are, yeah that is it can I bring it over well you certainly can okay. are you afraid you're gonna miss out on something yes <laughs> I, it's FOMO, guys. I don't like. Being, oh my goodness! I don't like feeling like I'm missing stuff. It's not <laughs> fun. See, look, we got a new comment. See, Jenny says I love watching you guys make that. Aww, Aww Jenny. Jenny, we heard you. So you. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Let me tell you, um, this this little project that we did last week. Wow, that is a delay, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this project was a pain in my butt. I'm just saying. Pain in the booty. Um. Yeah, I think I tried three times. After when when oh she was trying to bleh, when she was trying to record the clean version of the video <laughs> for you guys because she kept messing up during our live last yeah. week. She was trying to record the clean version and she messed up three times. Three times right afterwards. I'm like, why is this not working? You think if you would subtract an eighth of an inch from the measurements. Oh no, it wasn't working. It was not working. Um, Saturday, I think I tried it or was it Friday? No, I think I tried it on Saturday. Saturday, I came down, got everything. I got it figured out, did the video. I still messed up. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just got to make the video. It's okay. I can get through this. Darcy, this is so true. I'm curious. What do you guys think is the most craft related item you use that is not craft related? What do you use in your crafts Oh, that isn't craft related? Like, like you wouldn't me, buy from like a... Post-it notes. Exactly. And that's what Darcy just posted. Mm -hmm. It's not really a crafting item, but you use it. Yep. Some people use forks for making ribbons. Baby wipes to clean off <gasps> stamp sets. Baby wipes yep. is another good one. Hello. What oh my gosh. Guys, I'm curious. What do you guys use? You that need is... to post that as a question. Yes. That's a good one. Great engagement post. Rose said spackling a wall with that glue. <laughs> Over day. It was a pain in the butt for you, but super entertaining for us. Oh yeah. Yeah. Bernie. <laughs> Oh my gosh, seriously, I was a hot mess last week. I'm just saying. It just did not make sense to me why it wasn't working out. <laughs> Any hoosers. Um, all right, so the colors that I'm using to color the bird. Um, dark pool party, light pool party, <laughs> paddle pink, both light and dark. And then I'm using the light daffodil delight. And then this should be the light crumb cake. Jill said wine is her favorite uh, <sighs> tool that isn't craft related. I second that. <laughs> I like that one too, Jill. That, I do. Jean says I use a lot of baby wipes. Ooh, Julie said sometimes I use toothpicks to get the glue into or onto tiny spots. 
Mm, that's that a good smart. one. Hey, you know what? I got a solution for you. I got this nice handy dandy little squeezy bottle that I love using. And um, I'm not going to be using it tonight, but this one works really good. Plus, they get the really fine tip ones, too. Toothpick, though. Wow. Yeah. That's called that's dedication my... right there. Yeah, that is dedication. Very much so. <laughs> Pam says a hot chocolate and oh, DVD player. <laughs> chocolate, period, is good. All right, so now I'm just going to take my light pool party and I'm just going to color my pretty bird. Of course, you pretty can bird. use any colors. I remember my great grandma Lee had a parakeet, Pretty and bird. his name was Pee Wee. Aww. He was so cute. He was a green parakeet, and I'd always call him Pretty Bird. Pretty Bird. Brittany would... uses her phone for music. Hi, Lisa. Sometimes the fine tip glue clogs up, and I can never find a pin. Oh, so you, sure. You have toothpicks, but you don't have pins. Very true. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Also, a large needle to unclog the Tombow glue. I don't have issues with uh, our glue getting clogged up. The Tombow? No, I haven't. Usually, I, I just got to take... Usually, because I get it so messy on the end, usually I just take it and pull it off, and it unclogs oh. it most of the time. But, you know... Oops, I didn't want to take that one. That one was the dark. Okay. Cute. He's going to have a really dark belly, guys, because I grabbed the dark one instead of the white. But that's okay. It's all good. There's no right or wrong when it's coloring. All right. So I'm just going to color these circles with the daffodil. And yeah. then we'll come in with our light petal pink. Now, some people start with the dark. I kind of go with the light first, then dark. And then if I mess up with the dark, I go in again with the light. Should we zoom in a little bit so y'all can see a little bit better? There we go. Awesome. Now you can see your coloring. And see, it doesn't have to be perfect. Look at that. I just squiggled and did whatever to get color on there. That's what I love about our alcohol blends. They're so awesome. They're really cool. They're so easy to work with. I mean, you do not need to be an artist to make these work because it does the magic for you. Um, I feel with other brands out there like Copix, I, I, I struggle. They will also, it's a learning curve with them. Like it just... With Copix? Yeah, because I oh, feel yeah. like that's definitely more on like the artist scale mm -hmm. side of things, whereas you don't need to be an artist to use the Stampin' Blends. You really don't. I mean, look at how nice that turned Ooh. out, you guys. Oh, whoa, I... whoa, perfect. Come look at in that. too fast? No, I was just all of a sudden, I was like, wait, we're zoomed in more than you know. <laughs> okay, so... Now we're going to get to the nitty gritty, guys. You just squeeze the glue into your fine tip bottle. Yeah, that's exactly what we do. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to have all the scoring and all that kind of fun stuff um, up on our blog tomorrow. But you're going to see that we have one score line here, and then you're going to have like a one inch and a one inch. Oh, wow. Are you still zoomed in? Yeah, let me zoom out. Okay. There we go. All right. So you got these two one inch squares. We're gonna start on this end. For me, it worked better. You might wanna start from the front end. Um, but if you wanna be different. You wanna be different and different. go against the grain. That's perfectly fine. There's no right or wrong way. Um, but I found that starting at the back, it was easier for me. So I'm gonna bend back on that first score line. I need something to give it a good burnish with. Okay, so I'm just gonna burnish that one on our score line that we made, okay? Now on this one, I'm gonna bend it forward, all right? So opposite direction? Opposite direction. Give that a good burnish, all right? We're gonna do the opposite, so I guess that would be a mountain fold right there on that one, okay? And then a valley fold, fold it opposite. Renee, it is 12 by 12 paper. Oh, yes. Very much so. Um, it is 4 inch by 12 inch. Um, this piece is longer, but good thing is, is that Stampin' Up! does have this, so, you know. In basic white. Mm-hmm, in basic white. All right, so now that we have our, I guess I call it steps. I was looking at it to try and, we have our front piece, and then we have our first score line, another flat piece, and then we have our step and a step okay this first piece right here 
we're going to fold it in towards the steps. All right. So it's kind of a goofy thing, but this is going to be on the front of our card. Okay. So now we have our, our step. Oh, did I, what the heck? What are you doing? Did I mess a step? You I missed, missed a step. I missed a step. Missed a step. I missed a step. It sounded like Bru was Bruno, Sasha Bar Barry. Oh, yeah. Owens oh, yeah, Barry there you go. Barry. I'm sorry, you guys. I missed, missed a step. step. Okay. There's a, no, Bora? There, there. Okay, hold on. Oh, no. Here we <laughs> oh, go. No. <laughs> it's a replay of last week. Oh, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my gosh, here, let's open, let's How open How can this. I get an extra score in there? It should look like this. Yeah, I know. One, two, three, four. So I have one score. You do There's, have. Oh yeah, where did this one? That should not be there. That should not be there, this you guys. This should be wide. Okay, ignore this, because that <laughs> should not be there. What? <laughs> Correct measurements yes. will be on our blog post. They posts. will. So yes, you're going to have... I put that one in there. Wow. So you're going to have your steps right here. Okay, get that out. You're going to confuse them. I'm showing no, because then they, they know what it looks like. Okay, you're going to have right here, you're going to have your step. It's going to be flat. I put an extra score line in there. Are you surprised? No. No. Okay, so it's right here. You got your step, flat, step, flat. Okay? Got it. Now the front one folds over on it, so now... It's going to fold in like that. I think what had happened, you guys, where this one came from is when I turned it over to do the the burnishing, it put a crease mark on the other side. Oh. That's what it did. It totally did. Look at that, you guys. Wow. So don't do that. Bernie said, don't do this while I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Just spit all she of your drinks out. out. <laughs> Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Now, what I did for funsies is I did the measurements, okay? So on the front part, okay, let's get the card. For the front part, all right, the designer series paper is going to measure two and a half by three and three fourths. This overlaps onto the back, the, this other top piece right here so I'm going to open that up this piece right here measures two and three fourths by three and three fourths and then when you open it up like this ta -da, that these measurements right here is what you're going to want to use okay um, I'm going to leave this here for a second or two in case you guys want to take a picture replay it pause it later on zoom in a little bit okay There you go. Okay. Pause it. Okay. We're good. So we're going to, now I'm going to show what it is on the front. Okay. And that's going to be doo -doo 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 like so. Just come down a little bit. Oh, I'm too just, up? Yeah, just okay. a little. There you go. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. So ahead of time, I went and, oh. Oh, no, what? this one. I'm like, wait a minute, I, my piece went away. <laughs> um, so be careful when you are burnishing and you have another piece of cardstock underneath it that if you do burnish it, maybe open it up instead like this and burnish it and not do it on top of the cardstock because that's where that extra score line came through. Okay, so now that I got my pieces out, um, we I got them all cut and prepped and ready. Um, for the inside of the card, this piece right here, we have used the checks and dots, and I believe this is in our annual catalog. This is one of two. The second one... They're like the mini embossing yeah. folders because they fit in the mini embossing machine. Which is going to be on sale on Tuesday for 20% off. Can't beat that. Anyway, so you get two of these for the price of one, basically. Um, you got your, looks like the checkered squares right here, and then your dots. So I, I use the dots, and we're going to just start layering from the front to the end. So on the front piece right here, I use this designer series paper, and where is my glue? So I'm not going to use glue today. I'm going to try and use my um, stamp and seal, and hopefully it'll behave. Thanks, Jan. 
I see Rachel use hers and she, hers, I've actually used her stamp and seal when we went on that Silver Elite yeah. and it's so nice. What? It really is. It's so nice. Why is hers nice? I have no idea. It's because it's Rachel's. It's, yeah, exactly. That's the only reason why. Yeah, Because exactly. you know it's Rachel's. It's so Rachel's. Mom and just flipped it around here because she's weird. I am. She always flips everything upside down. I do. I don't know why. It's, I find it easier for myself, but sometimes I don't get it exactly where I need it to be. All right, so that's the front panel. Now I'm going to do this other panel. This one folds over on top of it, so we're going to put the designer series paper on that one. So we'll use there. Again, use the measurements from just previous that we gave you time to pass the screen. Mm -hmm. We'll also have them up on our blog post Absolutely. so y'all can see it on there too. And we usually post in our Facebook group and on our Facebook page when they are up. So make sure that you're following us so that you get a notification okay. when that goes live. All right, so now we got the front done. Now I'm gonna open it up and do the inside over here. The inside, we use this piece right here. Okay, again, just using our stamp and seal. Maybe. Maybe, I'm trying to use it lightly, but you know, so it goes. All right. Look at that birdie. It's so cute. It is so cute. It is really cute. All right, so our next panel on the inside, we're going to use our embossed piece. And I'm just going to layer. Oh, that didn't work. See that? Oopsie daisy. Oopsie. Oh, just going to oh. sneak right past you. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Coming through. <laughs> All right, so I really like that polka dotted one. We used to have a really big polka dotted one and that was so awesome, I loved it. Okay, so again, we are working on the inside. Next, I'm gonna do our one inch pieces right here. And that is these ones. Okay. And if I get lucky, this might work really well for me. Oh, look Ooh. at that. Oh, nice. she did it. She did it. How about that? I'm proud of you. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. I am too. It worked for me. Finally, something. Okay, here we go. And onto this piece. Right here. I like that purple. It's really pretty, isn't it? What purple is that? I believe it's, well, it's supposed fresh to be the freesia. fresh. Well, thank you. Yeah. Fresh freesia. Yeah, took the words out of my mouth. You're welcome. Okay, one more. On, oh. Oh, oh. Okay, there we go. Got it. <laughs> See, Rachel's works so smooth. Seriously, doesn't stop up. All right, so now this one goes here. Like a uh, so. It's so pretty. Isn't it cute? Okay, so now that we have that done, the fun thing is that this first panel here. Um, is going to be free and so is the rest of these the only one that you're going to adhere to the card base is going to be the one right here with the embossed piece so it's the second panel that's the only piece that's going to be adhered all right so i'm going to turn this over and put adhesive on this okay wish me luck mm, so far luck is not working <laughs> yes not working off to a rough start. Speaking of luck, we're hoping to do some fun things over on our Instagram page for St. Patty's <gasps> Day. Yeah. So if you're not following us on Instagram, make sure you are. There's going to be a lot of green stuff. A so lot of green stuff. We're going to be doing some fun <laughs> things over there. Uh, all you have to do is go to Instagram and type in Stamping Bay, Stamping B A E, and make sure you're following us and then see what. Fun we're gonna be up to for St. Patty's Day. Okay. I'm excited. We're gonna just lay it right there. Maybe the tape dispenser gives you problems just because it's jealous of your overuse of dimensionals. <laughs> it could be. Who said that? Did Jill Bern say that? Brene. 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 <laughs> it could be Brene. It could be. Stacy said such great paper. Look at that. Is that not fun? Oh my gosh. And then it stands up on its own. How awesome is that? Okay, so you know, these cards look really, really hard, but they're so, step-by-step step, is so easy. Okay, so now we can see that it's only attached by the second panel. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in our two pieces here. Again, measurements will be on our website. 
I am hopefully going to get this on here perfectly straight. Can you tell that mom's right-handed? Yeah. <laughs> she she burns everything crooked. Well, no. And, well, and she's and also thing, trying to craft to you guys. Oh, it's you guys over here. So <laughs> the camera is over here. I should be crafting this way, but for some reason I'm, ca you know, I gotta talk crooked. to you because you are there, <laughs> not here. Gosh. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna layer our wisp, or oh, I almost said whisper white, basic white. Basic white. On top of our basic black. Okay, so now this is the area where you can write your little message to and from and all that kind of hugs and kisses and stuff, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. Thanks, Tina. Thanks, Jean. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to take this piece and put it on the inside panel. Cute. Right in here. Cute. Okay, that goes there. If you aren't subscribed to us on YouTube, I want to try something. Uh -oh. If you subscribe to us on YouTube, okay. watching on YouTube, I think your name should come across the screen as like mm. a little zombie monster. A I, zombie? Yeah, I don't know why Seriously? it's a zombie, but Ooh. I want to see it, but I can't. I can't it, do it because I'm. I can't subscribe to myself. <laughs> like it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Oh so no, I'm curious. So if you're watching us on YouTube, I'm curious if you'd hit that subscribe button. To yeah, see let what us happens. know. I would love to see. I also think you might have to have your settings a certain way too, like oh. their profile. I have no idea. Hmm. We no need to idea. check into that. Okay, so now we have our piece here where it's a little kitty wampus, but I'll stamp another one and put it right on top of it and it'll be good. All right, so this piece is actually gonna go on top of our scalloped oval. And this has been my favorite go-to because it's quick and easy to do a layer, honestly. You have your, your scalloped piece and then you have the one that layers on top of it. I love it, it's quick and simple and easy. So we just punch that out in basic black. And then I wanted to do something different, so we're gonna put a different sentiment and a different, um, instead of the oval, we're gonna use this square one um, on top of it if I can get this tape to work. Mm -hmm. Jean, like this. so true. She said, great way to use up DSP. Oh, absolutely. In a fun way. Yeah. Like, it doesn't need to be, like, boring. Yes. Okay, so there we have that. Now, is that, that fits in there just perfect. Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. You, you know you're making something cute when you get angry. <laughs> <laughs> I do that with the cats. I'm like, you're so cute. You give me a dress up. I just want to eat you. You make me so aggressive. Hi, Jean. <laughs> okay, so we have um, the front panels are closed. We're going to layer this one down here. Interesting. Brene did it, but her... No, no zombie subs, monster? No zombie monster. Hmm. Weird. This piece here is going to get layered on the inside. Now, this is where, on my first one, it was kind of bland, so I'm like, let's do a little bit of special stuff on it. So we're going to put these little squiggly things that we got from the uh, Stitch Stars. And we'll probably do one here. Maybe one up here. Who knows? We'll figure it out. Depends. Let me see here. Because I don't think there's much on the ends that we can put on here. So I think what I'll do is Yay. I will just layer it up here and then layer this one down here. Okay. And subscribe like to that. our YouTube and Instagram. Yay! Awesome! Jean. Way to go, Jean! <laughs> Karen said that uh, the punch, though, that you're using is the punch that she uses the most often lately. Right? Honestly, it's awesome. And, you know, to be honest with you, I hope they bring back more, um, some more punches that, um, that we can use because they're so quick and easy. And, you know, especially for being beginner stampers, too, um, it's it's quick and easy. You don't have to have a big die cut machine. Ooh, I just thought of something. Ooh, that would be wanna, cute too. Maybe I can try subscribing from here. Let me try something, guys. I'm just gonna peel this off very gently, hopefully. Okay, thanks. Do do do. Hmm. No monster. Let's try and see if I can get this. Oh, I like it. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, that's cool. Why is there no monster, you guys? It, Sherry Bear. Sherry Bear, what did you do? Subscribe 28 minutes ago and a monster came up, but nobody else's monsters are coming up. Hmm. Weird. Jennifer didn't see. I unsubscribed so I can <laughs> subscribe again to watch for the message, Jennifer. 
No monster. She didn't see her mat. Didn't Aww, see it. Aw, that's a bummer. It's so weird how it worked for one person. You need to message else. her and ask her. How did that work? How were your settings? Okay, so now we can put this on here. Oh yeah, that adds so much, you guys. Look at that. Okay, so we have that on there. Now, if you want, you could add dimensionals on that, but I'm just going to leave it flat because when this is folded. We're going to have a belly band on top of it that I didn't want to add any extra dimension, even though I love dimensionals, you know. Okay, so we have that on there. Now, I thought it would be fun to add this black one, um, this fan, fun fan thing, whatever. I'm not sure what it's called. I really should look it up, but, you know. All right, so we have glue on the end here. Let me rub that off my fingers. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of these. Oh, it's a dinosaur. Oh, dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. Who said that? Did you see it? I, oh! Oh, they can't see it. Hold on. Well, show that to them. I can't. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. It's a little green dinosaur it jumping up and down. It is a little dinosaur, but I don't know how to show you guys. Oh, play alert. Oh. See? Oh, oh somebody bought it. <laughs> Somebody bought a t-shirt. That's the wrong alert. <laughs> we don't sell t-shirts yet. I, yeah, I'm like, t-shirt? Play alert. Stamping before anything else. Oh, there Just it subscribe. is. See? Okay, but it's you too bring it big. Down. Where is Hold it? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's too big. Ah! No! Hold on, guys. Wait. Kayla will figure it out. Yep. Okay, so okay. we have our little black fan. We have our little black doohinky swirly things over here. We have our message. Okay, so now, oh gosh, now my nose is. See, it should be. Me. It should look like that. Oh my gosh! Look at so the little dinosaur! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! And then when you like us on Facebook, it looks like that. That's oh, that's kind of fun. Boring. That's not as fun. We got it. We'll we'll come up with something fun. We do. Okay. Okay. Their okay. name just splashing. I mean, that's cool, but you know, it's well, not as fun as that YouTube one. Yeah, that was really fun. Okay. okay. So now we have basically the card done itself. Stands up, does all this fun, wonderful stuff. Okay, now we're gonna do the belly band. 12 inches right here. We do carry this, this is petal pink. 12 inches by one inch. And then the designer series paper is gonna be 12 inches by seven eighths of an inch, okay? So we are gonna keep our fingers crossed and hope this paper or this tape will work. I'm just gonna layer it, just a couple pieces, or not layer it, but um, put a, random pieces of tape on the back side. And I'll show you why, whoops. Thanks, Rose. She goes, very cute card, ladies. Oh, Thanks thank for you. giving us inspiration to Honestly, make this. Honestly, you make such beautiful cards. Okay, I think I got oh, it. Oh, somebody said it was ginkgo, ginkgo leaves? Ginkgo leaves? Ginkgo leaves. I'm gonna Google it. Okay. <gasps> ginkgo. Oh, that makes sense. I think I heard that before. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's what it is. It looks like ginkgo leaves. Okay, that makes sense. Also known as maiden hair tree. It's maiden a species hair tree. of tree native to China. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to be quiet. I'm concentrating. Can you tell? Yes, I can tell. I'm going to see what <laughs> our poll talking. is at. If you're on Facebook, we got a poll going on. If you're not on Facebook or if you're watching the replay, I'm curious. What uh, Do you like making fun fold cards? Let us know in the comments. It looks like 92% of the people watching right now like making fun fold cards. So. Awesome. Yeah. I do too. Yeah, we know that. I do too. We know that. <laughs> okay. So now what I did, um, I layered both pieces together, I flipped it upside down, and I am going to layer my card on front. Did that make sense? On top of this. There you go. Okay. Um, so all we're going to do is take these and bend them over. You want to make sure that it's kind of straight because you don't want to have a kitty wampus uh, belly band. Okay, so Brittany said she needs a secret because hers are either too tight or too loose. Okay, well, with this one, I guess, um, I think the secret is when you go to adhere them together. And this one is, I'm going to sneeze. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Maybe not. No, watermelon. Okay, watermelon. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay, so 
you want to usually how I do them is I get them as tight as I can um, when I'm doing the bending of the edges like this I get it as tight as I can but then as I can but then when I go to adhere them I back it up like about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch not as much no, as an eighth I of would an say like a sixteenth of an inch like just back it up second of an inch just a hair don't have it quite as tight but just adhere it just a tiny bit back okay on this particular card though um, when I did this one I'll show you um, doo -doo -doo. when I did this one I did it as tight well not as tight as I possibly could but I did it pretty tight and it still popped open a little bit like that which is perfectly fine if it does get too tight though you can easily bend this in half kind of bows a little bit and it'll slide right in and out it should anyhow okay like that all right so for this one I did it tight and I'm gonna use uh, tear tape if I can find it do, 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 do. There it is. okay so now I have about an inch over um, the top pieces over by about an inch I'm gonna put two little pieces of tear and tape on here. I'm gonna put one there, and of course I got a, looks like an indie hair. Indigo. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> okay, where I don't know here? why, guys, I don't know. I don't know. It's just the way we roll around the house here. Okay, so I have two pieces of the tear and tape, and, or tear tape, I always say tear and tape. It's tear tape. Um, Oh, thanks, Mary Jo. She said, I love this card. Awesome job. Oh, Nancy and Kayla. Cynthia said, I can't wait to make this. Isn't it fun? Seriously. Rose, you outdid yourself on this one. Seriously. Okay, so I have it as tight as it'll go. And then I backed it up just a tiny bit. Okay, you can tell it's a tiny bit. I don't know if you can tell. Teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny bit. Okay. So I'm gonna move this up a tiny. A okay. teeny tiny. And it's still, look at that. It still <laughs> is a good amount. All right, so now we're gonna get over to our circle and we're gonna put adhesive on the back of this. If it works, I go light, I go hard, I get angry, I get aggressive with this and it still don't work. It's just one of those days for me, okay. And we just have a little bit of that basic black peeking out from behind. I love that. And we're gonna put this off over the side. Now where this piece is adhering here, this is gonna cover it up no problem. Now I'm just gonna kinda of eyeball right here where I'm gonna put my tear tape. I'm gonna put one strip of tear tape on the back side here. And I'm gonna look at that again because I was too busy. Okay, let me make sure and it doesn't have to be exact science, you guys. Just eyeball it and put it where you want it. Put it where you want it. Okay, put so I'm gonna put my finger there. I don't know why, I have, I've had like the Blues Clues theme song in my head all day today. I she was no idea. singing it right before we went live. Yeah. It's crazy. You're crazy, Kayla. We just Kayla. got a letter. We, we just got, got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. You're welcome. <laughs> Now you're going to have it in your head. Yep. That wonderful <laughs> so now I'm not earworm. alone. <laughs> you got an earworm. Earworm. All right. So here we go. We're going to lay this right on top of here. Ta-da! And that should move. Yes. Right, Cynthia, we will have measurements on our blog. Yes. So you have that too. Oh, Tina says she has an indie, indie too. He's oh. a Siamese rag doll. Oh, oh my god. Rag doll and a Siamese. Oh my gosh, I bet he's adorable. We are cat ladies. Oh, definitely. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna bring in the fun stuff, guys. This is our um this is in the annual catalog. This is the metallic mesh ribbon. I love it. Um, I already had a piece, I had a whole bunch of pieces cut off and I just kind of intertwined them all together on here. I think this is, see, here's another piece. Um, uh, all intertwined, but basically what I did is I just kind of scrunched this together and tied a bow. 
And of course, I'm using my wonderful little handy dandy bow maker that our friend Vicki Spicer makes. Right there Am is I her mi information. Brene, am I missing something? Why did you say TikTok military videos? TikTok military Why videos. did you say that? Hmm. I'm confused. Because I was thinking that, but I don't know what triggered that in my brain to think that. Tiktok military videos. What is the context behind that comment? I'm curious. Okay. And why anyway. would you be thinking about that? Because Blue's Clues. Oh. Oh, that is why. It's because the TikTok village kids are talking. So, like, everything that's going on in Ukraine and Russia. Oh. People are joking, which, you know, probably shouldn't be doing because there's a war going on. But they got, they're getting letters from saying they're drafted. Okay. And so... Yes, okay, got that's it. what it was. Thank you, Brene. That's what I was like. That's what it is. <laughs> I was like, were we thinking on the same point? Like, because think that's guys where my were. brain went. And hello, my goodness. <laughs> okay, so I'm just cutting straight across. Got them both. Just so cute. Look at that. Is that a cute? Hi, Sherry. Perfect little bow with this stuff. Arkansas. Okay. Wow. Okay, so Arkansas. If you guys know, I'm a little bow challenge. Okay, whoops, everything's falling. All right, so now I'm gonna take a glue dot. Um, right here you will see that it says glue dots in here. However, the Stampin' Up! ones do fit in here. You just gotta put them on backwards. The opposite way. The opposite way, and they work marvelous. Fabulous bow. They do. Thanks, Tina. Okay, so here we go. We're oh. gonna put a glue dot on the back of here. Okay. And I'm just gonna put it, you could put it on the belly band itself, wherever you decide. So we're gonna put that there. And then we're gonna bring in, of course, our clear or basic rhinestones. And I used to have a ticket pick tool around here somewhere. There it is. Okay, we got our take your pick tool. This is the fun glue putty end. And we're just gonna add a little bit of bling. I think I had one up here, one over here. One down here. Odd numbers work best when you're adding um, embellishments. Just as more pleasing to the eye. And humans there we have it. love the number three. Fun fact. Really? Yes. Humans I, I love. Do. It's like a. It's a proven fact. Is that, that why I love have three kids? And three cats. And three cats. And I don't know what else is three. But humans love the number three. Huh. That's why we do things and odds all well, a lot. There we have um, it. And here we go. We're going to slide that on. Oh, oh, technically, it's supposed to be like that. Ta-da. Ta-da. And ta-da. You know what? It doesn't have enough bling, so I'm going to put a little bit over here. So while um, she's doing that, we have a giveaway. Here. We are giving away a pack of the Garden Gems, which went with the Eden Garden stuff. So I have yes. this pack that we will be giving away. Um, and then, so don't go anywhere, I'm announcing the winner, and then we'll announce what we're going to give away for next week's live. That's so pretty. All you have to do is interact in this video in some way in order to get into next week's giveaway, but I do want to note that we have the amazing Silhouettes class to go, which is going to be closing on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to tell you right now and be transparent with you, because I like when people are transparent with me. Majority of the cost is going to product that you get to keep. Yes. So absolutely. Here, um, kitty. With the class, you're getting the amazing thanks dies and the amazing silhouettes stamp set. This is a bundle, so you're saving 10% by getting both of them. You're gonna get a pack of the brushed brass butterflies, and you're getting oh my goodness supplies to make 10 cards, two of five designs. These are all the cards you're gonna make. So um, that information I'll post in the comments. If you're watching the replay, it'll be in the description of this video. But you'll be making all these five cards to, and two of each of them. So mm -hmm. all of it is going to uh, the actual supplies for the class. So I think it's like, I think it's like you're getting a dollar and 75 cents is like going to us and that's going to the card stock. Um, and us paying us for our time to like cut everything yeah, and score much. it we're not getting paid a lot so no. just being transparent with you if you want to sign up for that oh charlie wants to get on the table <laughs> of course he does say hi to everybody bud hi charlie he's like looking down hey, he's like me, what's going on let me put it on us there we go now you can see him hey hi charlie Charlie, look at him look at those eyes oh, oh my gosh he's, he's so, so handsome 
Charlie. <laughs> so uh, you should be able to see it in the re replays of the comments on YouTube, but I'm going to post it again here at Amazing Silhouettes. Class to go. Um, that will just take you to our blog post with all the information in there. So you can read through and then you register from there if you'd like to do it. But um, what else was I going to say? We're going to do our card swap here right after we're mm -hmm. done with the live. And yes, we'll get those off uh, hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, I want to do it tomorrow. Okay. So uh, Jennifer and those of you who are picking up, you should be able to come tomorrow and get, grab those from us. Awesome. Uh, but I'll email everyone tonight. Um, be careful it doesn't tip over your water. Mm -hmm. There okay. you go. Thanks. I'm pulling up drum roll because <laughs> we want a drum roll sound effect because, duh. So if you could get your drum roll emojis ready and comment those for us <laughs> to make, you know, it even a more suspenseful moment Caleb to loves see those who, emojis, I'm I just do. saying. I do. <laughs> <laughs> to see who won. I have a sticky note on here to see who won the garden gem rhinestone. And, so, and again, like, seriously, don't I message people, check your messages, because if I don't hear from you, I message you usually on Facebook. Hey, you won. You won. Just come back next week. Yep. That's it. That's all you have to do. So Bernays got the drum rolls. Wow, that emojis. was a lot of drum rolls. Here we go. Was that Bernay? It was Bernay. <laughs> <laughs> and our winner is... Debbie Franklin, you are our winner. Yay, These Debbie. are absolutely stunning. Um, if you can't tell, this is like cherry cobbler rhinestones. You can't really tell. And then this is soft succulent, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's what the colors are. Oh, oh. Ooh, we were about to do another one there. Wow. <laughs> hey, we don't got the cops out tonight. No. Oh, Why were yeah, the cops no cop. out last week? Uh, I can't remember. Why did we do the cop sirens last week? I don't remember. It must have been a siren that went by or something. I mean, no, you were, it was dimensional police or something like oh. that. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, congrats, Debbie. Please message us your shipping information. Mm -hmm. And then if, for those of you who did not win, next Thursday we're giving a pack of this old Ooh. designer series paper that was a part of Celebration. Yes. It had a little sampling of everything in it. I'm not going to open it up to show you, but there's a whole bunch of different designs that in here. That was for it was um, a joining special, I think. Yeah, for celebration. Yeah, and demonstrators were able to purchase that. Yeah, so mm -hmm. there's 48 pieces of paper in here. Mm -hmm. Designer series paper. So uh, to be entered to win this, all you have to do is interact in this video in some capacity, whether it's commenting, <laughs> following, subscribing to us, liking, all that great stuff. Um, that helps us out, and that's why we like to give these out as thank yous for Absolutely. helping us out. If you're not a part of our exclusive Facebook group yet, make sure you're joining. The, descri or the description has that link in it. So it's just, um, the link is in the description. So to go. Exclusive Facebook group. That's all you need to go. <laughs> uh, we accept everyone regardless if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, or if Absolutely. you're just a crafter, or you're just what the heck is stamping up? You guys are fun. Yeah. I like making fun of you. I'm going to follow you. Follow you. That's why we're oh, here. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can make fun of us. I don't care. <laughs> no. We like to have fun. We like to laugh and craft. That's our motto. Mm -hmm. um, and we like to carry that throughout everywhere. So, Absolutely. Awesome, everyone. Well, we had a lot of fun tonight. Oh, I did. Like Mom said, we're going to get these up measurements up on our blog tomorrow. You guys are going to love it. It's so much fun. Yes. It really is. It is a lot of fun to make. And if you do make them, make sure if you're in our exclusive group, like Kayla said, take anybody pictures, can, take show pictures, us. share them. We love to see show what you guys us. are creating. Even if it's not even one of our, you know, stuff that we demonstrate. We love to see what you guys do. Yeah. So. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks so much. And we will see you next Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Time. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>